a part of this are the main ones that try to, you know, are a part of all these like review channels, chat tragedy pimp review channels, when they're the biggest fucking tragedy pimps of all. And keeping a secret because they know it to be the truth. They wouldn't, why would it be a secret? There's something that they're ashamed of. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a secret. They could say that they did all this and but not tell the details. What's the pretty wild? This is a pretty wild conspiracy. What's the conspiracy, Chasey? Are you saying you weren't a part of it? What is a conspiracy? It happened. Now you're trying to say this documentary thing did not happen? Is she really going to try to say it did not happen? It's not a conspiracy. This is a pretty wild conspiracy. Funny how you say this is a, you just are just say something completely vague and not specific because you, you don't want, what is this, this? What is that this supposed to mean? Can you elaborate? Which part is the crazy conspiracy? <sighs> because it's true. It's not a conspiracy, it's true. You, abs you guys are absolutely, and yes, you too, were a main part in this. My story, you're, what are you talking about, Chasey? See, this is what liars do. They can't be specific. They can't, that's exactly how their buddy Andy Bernard is. Can't be specific. It's all like, I don't know. Oh, he's a liar. He's a drug dealer. But can't be any specific. Like, what is it that was lied about? <laughs> what is the conspiracy? What is the lies? You're saying that I'm lying and causing, cons or uh, basically dog whistling is what you're trying to say. Accuse me of lying. So what is it I'm lying about? Because all I've said is that you're, you were buddies with Donnie Candace as soon as you were done with that little documentary that you went out to film for. Now you guys are best friends, buddies on Facebook. You're fake. You're disgusting. You're a complete disgrace. Such a sellout. I've said it before and I'll say it again. A, a phony. And it's not changing. Oh, I'm sure you would say it would be just amazing for summer. Yes, you were. You Did you sign an NDA, Chasey? Did you sign any papers? You're a fucking liar. Oh, I love how she's turning around. I don't want some people to know about Summer. No, you're trying to turn it around and put this fake narrative as if the parents didn't have anything to do with their child missing. We'll leave out Andy. You are such a sellout. You go there and you get this opportunity to be in the documentary and suddenly, oh, we're not going to talk about Summer Wells anymore. You know, you acted like it was for some kind of good morale, some kind of uh, good cause. But no, it was really for your own fucking gain because you were doing a documentary and that's the whole planning. Yes, you signed paperwork for a documentary. Did you not? You never signed an NDA? Okay. Okay, so that was never, you were never a part of that. You were never in the planning of this documentary. Okay, Jason. You were one of them that suddenly went quiet. There had, there's, at the same time, they did. Provide proof. Provide proof. <laughs> Provide proof. That's what she, I mean, come on, just go. Just please. I've lost it. You're sitting here lying that you weren't a part of this. I know for a fact. You're sitting here telling me you weren't a part of something that I know for a fact happened. It's like you were definitely a part of it. And you're sitting here acting like it didn't ever happen at all. Like you don't know, have no idea what I'm talking about. I've just completely gone crazy. I've just lost my mind, right? That's what you, that's what I'm talking about, chasing about, about building a narrative and my problem with this. That's exactly my issue with this, is how you're trying to, you're trying to make a narrative when you're sitting here butting up with Donnie Candace all of a sudden. And then also when you are a part of, you lied to your whole community about what you were doing out there, suddenly went dark, you went ghost and you lied to everybody. Were you not a part of this?
That is absolutely not true, um, South Paul. And I already knew that you were not here, that you were a part of them. That is absolutely not true. My heart is for Summer Wells and the truth. And if Fred saw somebody on the road, if that's kept out, that's a big deal. That's the problem. And their main, their main person, they're trying to make Andy paint Andy as something that he's not is the issue. And that's why they're so mad and focused on me and Fred. Documentary plans. Aubrey's another one of them. I don't know what you guys are telling me you want me to prove. Prove what? They've already said, admitted it. Tiffany came in here and admitted that, that she and her, her and Minnie were part of it. It happened. What's, there's nothing to lie. There's nothing for me to prove. It's, I don't, I mean, I don't have anything to prove. It's on them. The burden on, I mean, they're, she's the one saying that they didn't work, had nothing to do with a, a documentary. So nothing should ever come out to the contrary ever. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Burden on proof is on the accuser. Well, this isn't the court of law um, chasing. You absolutely were a part of it, chasing. I don't know why you're lying. Why are you lying? You're sitting here saying you weren't a part of it. And that's all I'm saying. It's all I'm I don't understand what burden of proof. I'm just saying that you were a part of it. And you're saying you weren't. You were there with them. You were with them. I mean, I've been around for years. There's people here have been here for years. And remember that far back, Chasing. Don't you? You're treating everybody here like they're stupid. Like we don't remember. Thank you for blocking her. God, annoying. <sighs> trying to gaslight and freaking manipulate people into trying to act like she wasn't a part of everybody who was here has been here since the beginning can remember she was a part of that whole thing. And now, you know, isn't that funny too? How she said, I think a uh, documentary would be good for Summer. Isn't that funny how she said that, but then turned to try to turn around and say that she wasn't a part of it. I think it's funny how she added that in there. Well, I think it would be good thing for a documentary. Nobody said it wouldn't be a good thing for a documentary. But funny how you're sitting there defending the idea when you're in here trying to defend yourself and say you're not a part of it. But okay, but I never said a documentary is a bad thing. Actually, I think it would be good to bring more attention. Anything that's gonna bring attention to Summer being gone is, is good. But if you're going to sit there and you're going to paint a narrative about what happened and you're going to purposely uh, avoid bringing certain things up so you can paint a narrative, that's a problem. I'm sorry. And if you want to paint that and, act, and play pretend that it's because, oh, Fred, oh, they didn't involve Fred. And that's what I'm mad about. If that's what you want to play pretend and manipulate, when Fred doesn't even, like, getting him to be involved in something like that would be like pulling teeth. <laughs> like, I don't even know if I could even convince Fred to be a part of such a thing. <laughs> He's very, very private. So, no, my issue is you're trying to make him look a certain way and make Andy look a certain way and manipulate the audience, the public. That's the issue. And I'm not going to keep re re repeating it. And you know, that's the issue. So stop trying to turn it around on me. Like my intentions are sk skewed. Yeah. And I find it so funny that they could come in here and say things about Fred um, and, and their troll accounts uh, being this like, Oh, I married a surprise suspect. That's funny. Who's Don and Candace, your buddies. Did you forget about them? Or what about Andy Bernard? <laughs> All three of those are way more sus combined than Fred Hill. Sorry. You can believe in your little fantasy mind and lie to yourself. That's all. <laughs> you're, you're only lying to yourself. And you think you may have fooled a bunch of people in the community uh, for some time, but the truth always comes to light. And I'm just going to go ahead and go now and take a break before I just, because really, there's really nothing. It's happened. It's, uh, it's This was something that was started two years ago and has been in the works. It's already... You know, it's not like something that can, I, anything I could say to it go back in time or whatever. So, but you, that's just my opinion on it. I'm not going to keep fucking talking about it, but my opinion is not going to fucking change. What we just watched was her latest video, which was done yesterday, last night. Prior to that, she did two other videos. The very first one titled, A Netflix Documentary on Summer Wells? You've got to be kidding me. Ultimate Tragedy Pimpin'. That's what we're going to look at right now. Extremely mad. I'm so mad. Like, I could cry. I'm serious. Like, like I don't know if I want to scream, cry, like, hit something I'm pissed in. <laughs> What did I, I, I mentioned this and I'm going to have to find, I'm going to have to dig through my, uh, 
my uh, past lives. And I'm going to have to look and see where I have uh, actually said this. It predicted that. I don't know. Maybe I am uh, psychic. Might ju not just psycho. <laughs> I said a couple of years ago, I had a feeling that that's what was going on on this trip. When they were going down there, it was like chasing. It, it was a, several of them. You guys, will not, you guys, it, it, my gut was spot on. Come to find out. You guys, I am so fucking pissed right now. We have to have, we have to get more people in here. So like and share, get this in the al algorithm because I got this at the uh, garage sale that you guys went with me, but I'm sick to my stomach, dude. You're eating, you might not want to be eating. <laughs> I just want to make sure everybody's in here because I'm not going to say this more than once because I'm about to rant. What would be the ultimate freaking tragedy pimp move to do? I think it's, you guys are going to see that everybody's motives are about to be blown out of the water. Everything's going to be making sense here in a second. This is so disgusting. I wonder if uh, Gavel Geeks has any idea what kind of effect she could have possibly had on Summerwell's case while trying to put out this confusion out there so it will look good for her Netflix uh, little documentary that they're doing on Summerwell's. You guys have Andy Bernard helping you for this documentary. So you have to have Andy, you're, you're pitching Andy as the good guy, the good guy trying to help, which that's really Fred, but you're pitching it as Andy's, this good guy trying to help when he's one of the fucking suspects, like one of the main people. Everybody's still a person of interest. Uh, we still, everything is still on the table. We still trying to find out what happened to Summer. So everybody's still a, a person of interest. Uh, we still looking at uh, help from the landowners too, to go back and, and check their trail cameras, their security cameras every day, especially around the time that she disappeared. Cause we never know who was gonna be in that area and we still looking for red Toyota truck and everything that we do is trying to put a piece of the puzzle together to find Summer. They were all trying to be secret secret around me because they didn't want Ziggy to find out because that would just blow everything out of the water because Ziggy is big time team Fred and that's not what this is. This documentary we're pushing team Andy. So they got to you know they were trying to in the background make Andy look a certain way and Fred look a, a different way on purpose for their little fucking documentary. Purposely, purposely. Like, they should be fucking getting in trouble for this. Like, legit. Because they're really trying to interfere with the public and how the public, in public opinion. Yeah, what are they going to use for it? All my fucking, all my, all my interviews, everything I fucking worked on for the last uh, three and a half years, is that, what are they going to use? Like, what have they fucking done? Anyways, I just think it's sickening to begin with. It's a sickening idea. And it makes sense. We shouldn't even be thinking about a documentary right now. We don't even know what happened to Summer. Yes, the mother and father are in on this. You guys, I know for a fact that they're doing this. Or that they've been uh, trying to do this. And it's been going on for a while. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I told you guys this like a couple years ago. I knew it. How can they say anything about Tim Mullins or anybody like that? Like... You know what? They're trying to be, and guess who else they're going to have in their little documentary, a part of it? Jody Sue. Jody Sue's going to be in the documentary. They're going around. Well, that's the plan anyways, because they're going to pitch this to Netflix. How are they going to pitch it to Netflix, you say? Oh, I guess Skilo works for a production company. Skilo works for a production company, guys. And they, and I guess they think, because of Skilo's profession, that they're going to do a fucking documentary and exploit the fuck out of Summer Wells. How do you guys feel about that? The whole plan is we can't have Andy looking bad because that's going to fucking be bad for our documentary. We can't deal with documentary that because they've got some, this is exactly what I told you guys. They've got too much invested and they're, they're too much invested in this and they can't turn around. That's why they're so pissed. That's why they're so making, trying to make Fred look a certain way and are so mad. They even talked to, I know for a fact, they even talked to one of the neighbors. One of the neighbors, I, I, I know. Adrian in particular spoke to a certain neighbor who told her they saw Andy on the road. But they're keeping it quiet. They're not saying anything about it. Why? I 
I know. I'm so mad, guys. I'm so fucking pissed. How are these people going to go around talking about tragedy pimps? You know, I have screenshots of Gabble Geeks talking about um, me being a tragedy pimp um, because of people that people were helping Fred while he was in the jail or in jail. So that made me a tragedy pimp. But yet she's, while she's orchestrating this bullshit in the background. I thought it was something else, though. I don't, I know, but. Let's see what. Free from having any proof, but I do know the documentary was talked about and them ditching BK after he paid Andy $200 so they could search Andy's property. And can, so according to Tiffany, allegedly she says that they were never going to be a part of the documentary, that that was for access to Andy's property for, for, uh, for Benny to fly his drone. That's, that's their side. I, I mean, I'm not, I don't know. I, I don't know what I think about that. If I, I don't know. Because I do know Benny was really trying to get a hold of Fred. Um, right around this time. And, and then when it turned out to just be the others, it kind of just, uh, that just stopped. I don't know. So it seemed like they were going to be, but she's saying that they weren't. Huh? Oh, Betty Jo Simpson. Yeah, I knew there was something, something like that. Yeah, and there's people that, people that know, uh, and you know, well, I, actually, I'm going to be talking to some. Never mind. We'll talk about that when we get there. Anyways, let's talk about Fred Hill on the. It's like how that woman was talking about Fred Hill, the fifth on another channel. And we had to make sure it wasn't our Fred. Yeah, I know. And, and people were trying to pass it off as, as uh, our Fred. From what it seemed like, it seemed like they were like trying to make people think it was our our Fred, but I don't know. It, but it's quite obviously not. She even linked his the guy's Facebook in her description. The Fred Hill that she's talking about. So there's no questions on that. Yeah. Family and stuff like that. Yeah. If anybody's been messaging you by claiming to be Fred with a dogs on their picture, that's not him. Um. I just remember BK talked about the ID discovery. It was Skeela's connection, but BK and Tamar were not going to be a part of that. Okay. So, okay. So there. I guess it's pretty, con I can pretty confidently, there we go. So Tiffany and Benny weren't, were not going to be a part of it. Okay. I can, I can definitely believe Diana's word because that kind of goes along. With it. So, uh, they weren't going to be a part of it. They were just going to come and he was just going to fly his drone, I guess. They claimed, they claimed, supposedly, Tiffany said that, uh, that how it happened, how it all occurred, which is not true. It obviously all happened because Skilo's connections, the Discovery Channel. Um, but they tried to lie and say that some random lady came up to him um, at at uh, the vigil and asked them 
to be a part of a documentary. That is what I guess they were claiming, but according to Chasing, she's saying she was she is acts like she knows nothing about it so yeah and be be Vinny was the one that paid to access the property that's pretty disgusting and uh it's gross anyways to be paying anybody for i mean and that's on andy i, I understand the others wanted to get on that property and that was the only way, but I think it's pretty gross that Andy's collecting money to and stuff like that for, I've never once had to pay anybody for an interview, ever. Never. I've never contacted somebody and been like, I'll give you this amount or this if you, uh, never. People that, and, and you gotta be, you can't trust information from somebody who is, benefiting in that way just like marlena crawford another one that is allegedly probably knows something and she was another one that had to be paid in order to talk uh he was collecting money this is a couple years ago when with that documentary thing but benny that gave it to search for the, or to uh, be able to fly his drone on the property. But the others were going to be part of a documentary, allegedly. But I'm guessing maybe, uh, I don't know. Benny probably kind of has a court stuff or my guess. I don't know takes a lot to be able to go out of the state when you're on probation or, or a parole. So he probably wouldn't have even been able, even able to, it wouldn't have probably even been an option with all his, now this was a couple years ago, but I believe he's still, he's, he, already had some stuff ha going on, I think. What did Don and Candace say about this documentary? I don't think anybody's asked them. But allegedly, they're involved, too. And that's why uh, Chasing and Gavel Geeks and Adrian are such fake, two-faced, no-backbone-having liars. Because they're buddies now, I mean, go look at freaking uh, their Facebooks. Who's their friends? We got chasing up, up front and for, you know, in the forefront. Suddenly now chasing was always like, to be fair, she was always trying to like, trying to be non-biased, but Adrian and Jenny definitely did not <laughs> care for the wells. And it was, it's so fake of them. Um, to come back from that trip and suddenly be buddies with the Wells and suddenly all suspicions for the Wells just disappears because you have this opportunity to go on a documentary and you don't want to screw it up. And, and I heard that maybe no production might be, maybe there is no production happening, but that was the intention because if it's not, then ask them to play the footage, their footage of when they went down to Tennessee. Not when they were just driving home. They can't. They won't be able to show the footage because they're under contract. I'm serious. People have been signing documents, guys. It's like, it's it's not, they were serious about it. Whether or not it, it goes through I is another thing. Things that certain neighbors had told and stuff. Yeah, that that's the me. main thing that bothers yeah. me. That's what bothers me. I mean, Hold on. information. Okay. Um, yeah, very important information that they're signing NDAs to keep quiet. Oh, we can't go. What the fuck is that about? Like, we have to sign an NDA to, in order to keep quiet that 
a neighbor said that they saw Andy on the road that day. Says I'm not part of a documentary. No, that is fucking wrong. I would never be a part of something like that. That was ever. I would want I and I'm being completely a hundred percent honest here. If I was ever part of such a thing, I would want everybody heard on it, including Andy. That the neighbors just think is being used for the case to benefit the case when it's used for the fucking documentary that they ain't even going to LE or nothing. That's what pisses me off. I mean, I guess hopefully they turn that into law enforcement, but, and that's also why uh, Andy called Pruitt because this was all during this whole production of this, or, you know, this plans to uh, go on this documentary. And he was nervous as hell. You could tell he was pressured into that. And I am, I'm just assuming, this is an assumption, which I know assumptions are, are like assholes or whatever, isn't that, or no. Anyways, <laughs> ass makes it ass out of you and me. Assumptions make it ass out of you and me, I guess it's the same. Okay, so a few final things. Number one, I never said that it didn't exist. It doesn't exist. It will never exist. I hope that it does. I hope that the people who want to do the documentary do it. And I hope they can produce something that gets her face everywhere because Summer deserves that. There isn't a chance in hell I would ever sit for an interview about Summer's Day, by the way, if I was asked about Fred and Andy because at the end of the day, who gives a fuck besides you? why you think they'd be the topic of anybody's conversation is beyond me. Everything that you've said from NDAs to Jody Sue to Andy and Fred to some him being on the road or not being on the road, it's all bullshit. When does the focus, which is why I stopped going live, when does it go back on to summer? When exactly? Because what you've talked about so far is Benny paid to get on the property, but then we used it for the documentary. Wrong. Us signing NDAs and having neighbors sign NDAs. Wrong. Us having footage of our trips that we won't or can't share because we're under contract. Wrong. That some random lady walked up to us at a Summer's Day event and wants to do a documentary. Also wrong. Do you think that you guys are like going to go fishing and we're just going to come out and sit here and do lives all of a sudden. No, I'm going to make fun of you because you're making shit up. <laughs> Some of it is comical, but a lot of it isn't because you can see that that's the reason the chat was left up. Your chat is as bonkers as you are for believing this. And then there are other bonker ass people who will believe all of this and think that us, this group, went there with the intent of doing some documentary that Netflix is going to buy off of us and we're going to make a fucking fortune. I wouldn't take a fucking dime from anything. Are, are you absolutely crazy, lady? You are, because you would. You've talked about writing a book. You've talked about... This Ben Hill life that you're living. You have a dog from Ben Hill, a fucking husband from Ben Hill. Lady, shut up. That isn't a threat. That is me telling you, oh my God, shut up. You sound crazy. You absolutely sound crazy. You can take that how you want. Jody Sue said that I threatened a potential suspect is... Zigius, not a suspect, I apologize, a witness, that I threatened a witness. So Ziggy's a witness now? What? Jody's just happy she can talk about me again for a little while. Kiss my ass too, Jody. This is how fast a rumor starts around here. 
somebody in Six Ups was asking me questions about the documentary people at Summer's Day. And we all heard Ziggy say that Tiffany said that I said these random people just showed up there, right? Here's what was actually said. So this person I've never seen before, half monkey, half pug, says, Chasing, the people with the documentary just showed up and started asking about summer? Wow! <laughs> do you know what they wanted to do for summer? What kind of people are they? Do they go to all of them? And I answer, they seem like good people, half. They spoke to the people. That was that. Don't worry. We checked it out. Yeah. <laughs> the people with the documentary just showed up and started asking about summer. Wow. Clearly, half monkey, half pug person is a troll. And why are you asking me these weird questions? And you're making stuff up. So I said, well, they wanted to see Summer's Day. Actually, very true. And why us random people are doing this for summer. But here's how it spreads. Look at this comment. According to Chase and Truth, when her team went down there, they interviewed with some people as a favor to someone who maybe wanted to use it for a documentary. There is no listing for any documentary on Netflix. Now, let me tell you who Kit and Caboodle is. Um, it's a lady named Tay, which <laughs> I know for a fact and have proven on my community wall. But that's just how fast something spreads. I never said random people showed up anywhere to randomly do a documentary. Those words never come out of my mouth. They never were typed in a chat. I mean, you can say that they were, but I just showed you what happened in the chat. And from there, now, there's these people who just, you know, walked up and were like, hi, we're doing a documentary on Summer Wells. <laughs> but according to Ziggy, the documentary is about, you know, Fred Bad Andy Good. Okay. Either way, <laughs> I'm sure Ziggy will have more to say. You know, I didn't tell her to shut up in this one. I think some of the memes told her to shut up. So that's probably another threat. I guess. And Jody is also upset that I, by saying shut up at the end of my last video, that was a threat to a witness of Summer's case, a witness in Summer's case. So now Ziggy is a witness or is that just because she married Fred? And are you now saying Fred's a witness? Anyway, hope everybody's having a good Saturday and uh, keep the spinning going. You're doing nothing but messing up her stuff even more, adding more mud on top of her case, which does zero good for anybody.